Okay, the Lewis structure for carbon monoxide, CO. So carbon is in group 14, four valence electrons, and oxygen's in group 16, so that's six valence electrons, which gives me four plus six in total valence electrons, and I want to know the pairs, so that's going to give me five pairs of electrons. So write out the atoms and join them up with, well, initially one bond to start with. That's a pair of electrons. So I've got four more electron pairs to distribute. And remember, each atom has to have in total four pairs of electrons around it, the so-called stable octet. So four more pairs to distribute, one, two, three, four, and we're done. That's carbon monoxide. You can draw it out uh, in a different way. You could say that carbon is... Group 14 with four valence electrons, leaving me with oxygen, six valence electrons. I don't really like this way of doing it. And then you have to pair them up because electrons want to be in pairs. So you've got a pair there, okay. You've got another pair there, okay. And these three pairs there, oh, it all seems to have gone wrong. Can you see what's gone wrong here? Oh, I do have five pairs of electrons, but Carbon has only three pairs, six electrons in total. Now nah, that's not going to work. So then you have to have the courage to take that, put it there, and then fix this over here. So now that pair of electrons is a dative covalent bond or a coordinate bond because both of the electrons in that part of the bond came from only one atom. For the other two bonds, it was from one from carbon and one from oxygen. That bond behaves just the same as any, every other bond that's covalent, though. All right, let's look at the dipole. So in order to see if the molecule on the bond has a dipole, you have to check the electronegativity values. So electronegativity, you've got a fluorine with the highest electronegativity of four. But you can see that oxygen... Uh, loves electrons in the bond or is more attracted to, to the electrons in the bond than the carbon. So 3.4 compared to 2.6. So 3.4 has a higher electronegativity than 2.6. So these electrons here are going to be shifted slightly over, leaving that a little negative and that a little positive. You can also write the dipole like that. Okay, so the, the bond is polar and the molecule is polar. So the molecule is going to be linear. All diatomic molecules are linear. If you've got two balls, it doesn't matter how you line them up. You're always going to be able to draw that line through them. And it's going to be 180 degrees. Just for completeness, a formal charge. So for carbon, I've got four valence electrons, minus three bonds, minus two electrons in a lone pairs gives me a formal charge of minus one. So oxygen must be plus one because the sum of the formal charges equals the charge on the molecule, which is zero. So there we are, and we're done.